Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Speed Build Monday, everybody's favorite day of the week, despite the fact that it is Monday. But it has occurred to me that maybe some people like Monday. I don't know. Maybe you have something exciting happening this Monday. Uh, I don't think it's a common occurrence for people to enjoy Mondays, but you could be one of those people, and that's totally fine. Um, Mondays are okay. Ugh. Ugh. I lie. I don't really like Mondays. Um, I prefer sleep-in days like Saturday and Sunday and all those fun days where you have nothing to do but sleep even though you don't sleep because your dog tends to think that maybe we shouldn't sleep in on a weekend and he likes to get up super early and you're like please don't do that um, anyway today we are doing a different kind of build uh, one that has been quite popular ever since the parenthood uh, stuff pack game pack whatever you want to call it came out um, it is I built the house strictly using base game and parenthood pack stuff uh, because I noticed that a lot of people have just the base game and probably just parenthood because it was one of the sims more popular packs so I decided why not just use those things I I'm still in love with the parenthood game pack um, still use it use all of their stuff it's great so that is what I did it's just a decent sized family home I think it is four bedrooms Four bedrooms, uh, four bathrooms, well, three and a half, technically, because the downstairs bathroom is only half bathroom. Uh, yeah, and it has a nice little yard with a pool. It's all, it's all dandy, handy dandy. Uh, I think it turned out quite nice. Uh, it is, it's weird to be building in The Sims again. I've had probably about three weeks off from building. Uh, this is the first build I've done since I've been back from my trip. Uh, which seems like a lifetime ago. It seems like I was on vacation so long ago. Uh, back into the swing of things, working, playing The Sims, all that fun stuff. Uh, vacation was fun. We did end up leaving uh, two days early, mainly because the spot that we went to, there wasn't a whole lot of like activities to do. You could do like several hikes, but there were quite a few bears in the area, so we were a little shy to do them. So we ended up coming home early because we had so many things. We were sitting on our vacation. We were like, we have this, 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 this and this to do uh, when we get home. And we're like, we only have this much time to do it before I go back to work. Um, so there's not a lot of time. So we were like, why don't we just go home a few days early? Uh, so we did. We left. We were supposed to leave on Thursday. We ended up leaving on Tuesday and coming home and getting a head start before I went to to work not back to work because I haven't started or I didn't start uh, that job just started I have had one week at that job and it's okay it's not you know it's okay uh, it's not my dream job by any means but it will pay the bills as they say so uh, I'll do it for the summer uh, and then yeah and then I have so far right now it's looking like I have two weeks off in August which is quite nice so I'm looking forward to that also this coming weekend is not only my birthday, um, my birthday is on Friday, for anybody interested, uh, and then this weekend we, there's a big fair that's in my town, so, like, it's pff, at the park that's, like, two minutes walking from my house, so I'm excited for that. Apparently there's gonna be animals that I can pet, that's all I wanna do, I don't care about anything else, I just wanna pet the animals, so I'm pretty excited for that, um, just waiting for the weekend, even though it's only Monday. And I'm actually recording this voiceover on Monday as well, because I was pretty busy all weekend, so I didn't have time to do the voiceover. So I was like, you know what? I'll get up early on Monday. I don't actually work until 12 today, so I've got a little bit of time to do this. And then hopefully I'm going to jump into Regs to Riches after this and do that uh, just before I go and take my dog out. I would also like to have breakfast. I just woke up, hence when my voice is a little morning-ish. You can tell that I just woke up, I'm sure. Uh, it's just one of those things. My alarm is set at 7. It's now 7.30 and I just got up because, well, you know, sleep. I like it. Um, I was up before that. Harley got up at 6.30 because, you know, he likes to get up early when I can sleep in for some reason. And then when I have to get up early, he, like, doesn't want to move. I'm like, bro, get your priorities straight, man. Um, so, yeah, it has been quite the... Uh, the weekend, I guess. Uh, we've had my province. If you guys don't know, I live in British Columbia, Canada, and my province is currently under a state of emergency because we have, I believe it's like oh, well over 250 wildfires going on in the province uh, 
at this moment, most of them out of control. Uh, many places have been evacuated uh, due to the threat of wildfires. Many places have been burnt down. Uh, firefighters were taking them out of provinces, like different provinces, to come and help with the relief. And it's just been one of those scary moments. Luckily for me, where I am, there are no wildfires. However, they are creeping towards this way. I don't know if they'll end up getting this far out, uh, but it's still scary to watch and sad to watch people who have lost their homes and are forced to evacuate without really any notice. So a lot of people have been forced to leave pets behind. Uh, where the wildfires are taking place <clears throat> is a place that we call the interior, and uh, it's a big agriculture area. So there's lots of farms with lots of like cows and horses and things like that. So people are really scrambling to get their horses and things out of there. So we've had some people go up with big trailers to get them. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's sad to kind of sit and watch the news and watch all these uh, giant places. No homes, like there haven't been many homes that have been destroyed. There was one community that was completely wiped through. Several homes were completely wiped through. Um, however, there because it's like these big amounts of land that people own because it's a big farming community. It's just weird to see all these like trees and bush and things go up in flames and it's very scary. Uh, fire is very, very scary. Um, so yeah, so that's what's been happening this weekend. So I've kind of been stuck on the news for a little while. Uh, in the mornings when I eat my breakfast, I turn it on just to see what's going on. Uh, as far as I know, as an update of as of this morning, the wildfires are still not contained. I don't think the big ones. Uh, one more big town was evacuated. Uh, and then, yeah, so they've closed off a bunch of highways. Um, our major highway, which is Highway 1, which goes through all of Canada. It's called the Trans-Canada Highway. Uh, that's been closed in several places due to the wildfires. Uh if nobody remembers, last year we had a pretty big wildfire in Alberta in Fort McMurray. Um, in fact, it wiped out most of that town, um, which is a big, it was it was huge. It was the entire talk of the summer. And now it's just started that we have these giant wildfires in the interior. And it's no signs of slowing down because it's been hot and very, very dry this summer um for the past probably about three weeks or so it's been very hot and very dry so uh it's very hard to f obviously fight a fire when the temperatures aren't going your way we've also had some high winds and lightning which is what started some of the fires um they've closed down a lot of provincial parks uh fire bans are everywhere there are signs everywhere saying don't smoke uh in dry wooded areas uh or outside for that matter well i mean you can smoke outside but like don't flick your butt into a dry grassy area so the park that I go to or several of the parks that I go to around my house all have the no smoking uh sign all have fire bans uh, everywhere pretty much in the province have fire bans due to the um the threat of wildfires because it is quite an intimate threat uh especially because we get pretty dry and hot summers it really fluctuates with us though some summers we get like tons of rain and barely any heat uh, and other summers it's all heat and no rain. There's like no happy medium for us. It's like here, you're either going to get a rainy summer or a really hot and dry summer. There's no like, oh, we'll mix it up a little bit. So uh, it has been quite warm the past few days and today is supposed to be warm tomorrow. I don't think it's supposed to be as bad. Let me check the weather. Although here it's very different from where it is in the interior. So here it's only supposed to be 22 degrees Celsius today, 23 tomorrow, and then going up from there, 26 on Sunday, 25 next Monday, which means that the interior is probably going to see about 35 to 40, which is what they've been seeing recently. So those are scary, and that's what's been happening. Um, what else is new with you guys? I haven't like done a long voiceover in forever because my reno last week was really really short I ended up doing two together because it ended up being like two minutes long I'm like I can't put up a video that's two minutes I have to put one up that's at least five minutes because that makes sense um so yeah so what is new with you guys uh I noticed on the sims that they had a small little clip of possibly a toddler stuff pack um which would excite me a lot uh it's something you know 
everybody plays the sims differently i play with a family like i find a lot of people do it this way but the whole focus is to have kids to have the toddlers i don't think i've ever played a sim where they haven't had kids um just because it's like when they die you're like okay i'm done now um most of my families most of my sims have had families if not all so a toddler stuff pack is very much up my alley um it will make up for the the whatever the fitness pack was. I did a review on it if you want to check that out. And it wasn't my favorite, obviously. Um, it's not... Well, first of all, they did a fitness stuff pack and gave us barely any clothes for it. No new running shoes, which I thought was very strange. They did, however, give us a rock climbing wall. So that's fun. Uh, not really my scene um oh excuse me Ugh, it's early 7 30 is that early um i guess in the summer it's pretty early all of you youngins who are out of school who don't work uh are just having a summer vacation which by the way i ugh, i am so jealous i am more jealous now than ever before of kids in like elementary school and high school and things who literally have nothing to do all summer except enjoy a summer vacation. Do you know how much I would kill for that right now? To just be like, I don't have anything to worry about and I just have summer vacation. I mean, obviously, some high school students work, which is great. Um, but you like, there's no real responsibility there. It's like, that's all fun money that you get to use. And I just, ugh. I want to go back. I don't really want to go back because I didn't enjoy high school at all. But... I want to go back just so I can have summer vacations and be like, well, there's no responsibilities and yeah, and I'm having so much fun and I just want to do it again. Um, so yeah, ugh, I'm not yawning, I promise you. It's just super early. It's too early for this. This is why I don't do voiceovers in the mornings because I end up yawning so much that it's like no one wants to hear someone yawn for like 15 minutes. So I try to do them the night before. However, last night I just ended up getting so busy. I also had to, ugh, I had to contact Microsoft to cancel my uh, Xbox Live subscription because I haven't played the Xbox in like pff, nine months. So I'm like, why do I pay for this? It's $70 that I could use on something else. So I canceled that. I had to talk to someone last night for that. And then I was just like, I'm going to go to bed early and get up early and go for a run and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's not happening. Uh, I can't run in this kind of heat. It just, it messes me up. Um, I have asthma, so like extreme heat. There's some, sim like some weather conditions that affect asthma more than other. Obviously, uh, we've had air quality warnings because of the smoke that's been coming our way from the fires. Uh, the heat bothers me. The dense fog bothers me. Um, any, like, sudden shift in temperature. So if we're, like, looking at a really hot day and then the next day it's really super cold and rainy, that bothers me. I don't know why it does, but it does. Um, I don't know if that's a side effect of asthma or what, but it does seem to bother me a little bit. So running in the heat is, is a very big no-no. So I usually just go for, like, intense walks, I guess. I don't know. Um, I am going to take my dog out here very shortly because I have to go to work after I work from 12 to 4 today which doesn't seem very long but like when you when you're not overly thrilled with where you're working a short shift can seem like forever I did last week I did 9 to 12 which is only three hours and I swear to god guys I came home and was like exhausted I was so tired when I came home from those shifts it was the strangest things because I was working for three hours. How could I not work for three hours? Like, it's, it's, it's like the smallest shift ever. And, like, I came home and was completely exhausted. And it's, like, it takes a lot out of you when you wake up, like, I don't want to go to this job. I don't, like, it's not that it's a terrible job. It's an easy job. Like, it's not hard. Um, it doesn't stress me out that way. It's just not where I thought I would be. So, it's, like, frustrating, I guess. And it's not where I want to be. Um, I've been trying to get other ones, but I've, so far, I have gotten no interviews, but I have gotten four reject rejections, so I'm doing great, guys. Um, yeah, it's just, oh, it's been tough. It's been one of those stressful times, um, but I enjoy coming into The Sims and building. I really missed it when I was on vacation. I think that was one of the things, I wasn't sure if I was gonna miss it, but like, 
oh my god all I did was like I just want to go home and build that's all I want to do I came up with all these ideas while I was away and like all these things I want to do for like the let's plays and things like that so like a nice vacation to sort of get away from everything and have new perspectives. However, it really made me miss doing this. Um, I don't sound as enthusiastic today because it is early in the morning, but I promise you I am very happy to be back and very happy to be back building. Um, I don't, I never realized that if you take three weeks off from building, you're a little rusty. Um, this house Although it turned out very nice on the inside, once again, the outside isn't my favorite. I think it looked okay. Um, it's definitely a nice family home uh, for those of us who cheat the money in because I'm pretty sure it's fairly expensive. Uh, but I, I, I know I can do better, and so I'm going to strive to do better next time. Um, but you know, I'm getting back into the swing of things. Anyway, guys, we are finishing up here. So if you like this video, make sure to leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date on all this nonsense, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And I will see you all in my next video. So have a great day, guys. Bye. Bye.